Laidlaw Schools Trust was created in 2004 when my arm was twisted by Tony Blair and uh, others to, to fund, in part, a school in the Academies Programme. The Academies Programme, for those people that don't know it, is where organisations or individuals run schools on behalf of the Department for Education and become responsible for the success of the school. So we built a uh, school, a new school, called Excelsior Academy, closed a failing old school, people moved to the new school, and started from there. We do everything possible to make their lives better than they would be. Better education, better aspirations, better start to life. The schools in the Laidlaw Schools Trust are largely in highly disadvantaged areas. Areas where parents may not have had a very positive educational experience and therefore are not enthusiastic about education for their children. Absolutely understandable. It's our goal to take these children and to give them the maximum opportunities in life through having had a better education, through giving them aspirations for their lives, through encouraging them to make their lives successful and enjoyable. We are very fortunate at LSD and having a lot of absolutely wonderful teachers who work incredibly hard, are totally devoted to advancing the children that they teach. We don't unfortunately have enough teachers, so we are now working with Durham University to train more teachers, to help them train more teachers, and hopefully we will get some of those trainee teachers to join LSD and add to our cohort of present teachers. When I started LSD in 2004, and we opened the first school in 2008, we were very well funded by the government. Indeed, I might say generously funded. Since that time, because of the austerity, the amount of money devoted to education has been cut back. Costs have increased massively, particularly pension costs for teachers. And we have got a funding gap. It is particularly the case in areas such as ours where the children need one-on-one -on -one teaching to advance them, where a lot, very high proportion of our children are EAL, English as an additional language, so they may come to us even uh, at the ages of 12, 13, 14, not speaking one word of English. Now this we try to look after with our International Arrivals Program, but that means one-on-one -on -one teaching. It means we need more teachers, more space to, to accomplish the goals of, uh, of their uh, getting um, GCSEs and being successful. We do need more funding from the government. We are making progress with our schools. One of our academies, Academy 360 in Pennywell in Sunderland, was named as the third most improved academy in the whole country by the Times Education Supplement. So it's taken a lot of time. It is, m it is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do to improve the schools, but we are winning.